Canon C70 has quickly become one of the most popular cinema cameras that you can buy for the money. And for good reason. It is a phenomenal camera at a great price. You get amazing image quality. You get tons of really, really awesome features that keep coming with firmware updates. And it's become my favorite camera that I've ever used. So today I thought I'd show you guys my full rig breakdown of the Canon C70. So here is the full rig. It's nothing too crazy, but it gets the job done. And I love this form factor. It's a very much a run and gun rig situation. I got the V-mount plate on the back powering the monitor. Normally I have the Ninja on here right now. I'm using my Shinobi because I'm using my Ninja to record this video. Um, and then I have a follow focus wheel for when I'm using my Mikey Cine glass that, that needs, you know, manual focus or my Suray anamorphic stuff. Um, and then I also have a map box on the front to slide in different filters and other things and to control some lens flares if that ever is a situation. Um, and I have a, a tilted base plate. So it's a really simple setup. I have a nice top handle uh, monitor mount and that's kind of all I need for most basic run and gun shoots. Um, I love having the top handle. It's a must for me on a rig like this. Um, on occasion, I will throw another side handle here if I'm using a, an autofocus lens and I don't need the follow focus. A lot of times we'll slide another handle here. So I have two handles, basically use the grip of the C70 on one side and then have essentially another handle on the other side. But for the most part, this is my most consistent rig and I love it. Compared to a lot of full camera rigs, it's really not that heavy. Um, it's become my favorite setup to use because the battery life is absolutely insane. I've been using these small rig um, 99 V mounts and they have performed amazing. I have some older V-mounts as well, but I can get crazy battery life powering the Ninja or even the um, Shinobi 7 that I use, my bigger seven inch monitor. I can power that and the camera for hours um, and have no issues. So let me give you a breakdown of all these pieces and everything that I'm talking about within this build will be in the description. So feel free to check those out um, if you have any questions or let me know in the comments if you have a question about a specific piece, anything that I mentioned today. Starting with the cage, it is the Tilta cage for the C70. I love this thing, it's been great. Um, it's definitely one of the more affordable options compared to like a blue condor cage or some other, other stuff that's out there that is really, really expensive and also really, really good. But I've had no complaints about this Tilta cage. It does everything that I needed to do. Like I said, it's, it's great protection for the camera also, but on top of that, it has plenty of mounting points. Um, NATO rails and all kinds of good stuff. So I have no problems with the Tilta cage. So then I also have the camera sitting on a Tilta base plate that I use to put my 15 mil rods into. It's a quick release base plate. So if I need to go handheld, I can quickly undo that without having to take the whole base plate off. It's been really nice. I have no complaints there. It's got slots on the front and the back for rods. So I have some rods on the front at times. Then I have rods on the back all the time, pretty much to be able to mount the V-mount plate and all that. And speaking of the V-mount plate, it is the small rig V-mount plate with the extra um, D-tap port on the side and then some um, DC connectors on the top as well, as long with the USB, I believe. Um, this plate's been amazing too. It's a little big, but as long as you don't care about that, it's been perfect and I love the extra connectivity that it gets you. Now moving on to the top handle is also a tilt -to top handle that actually locks into the cage um, and has a screw point. So it's the most secure top handle that I've ever used. And then it also has a cold shoe mount on the top with like a little locking mechanism that I put the monitor in. Also absolutely love that. It's just the most secure rig that I feel like I've ever built with any camera that I've ever owned. And I love not having to worry about stuff sliding out of hot shoes or sliding out of um, different spaces. It's just, it's a really secure tight rig. So I love that about it. Moving on to a focus wheel. That is the small rig focus wheel. I will put the exact name in the description or on screen here. You can see um, it's been great. It's a simple thing. It's basically just a manual focus wheel to help you pull focus when you're doing it yourself while also shooting. It's not a wireless follow focus or anything. Um, I rarely ever work with someone like an AC pulling focus. So most of the time it's me doing it. And when I'm using my Cine lenses that have manual focus, this is just the best situation for me. And it's the best way to be able to pull focus and get the shot at the same time. So that's that, no complaints there. And then finally on the front, I am rocking the small rig mini matte box. This thing is great, it's super light. You can slide in the four by five filters. Um, it can also take in your, your old school like circular polarizers and stuff like that. Um, so you can really stack filters up on your cameras if you really want to. Obviously with the C70, it has built-in ND, so I'm never putting ND filters on there, but what I am doing is stuff like mist filters and different four by five stuff um, that I'm kind of getting into and trying these days. So um, that's kind of what I use that for. I don't use it on the rig all the time. It's only for certain situations, but I wanted to give you guys a full rig breakdown um, and see what it's like fully built up. 
when I'm building out a camera for a shoot, it is extremely case by case. I never rarely build the same thing for every shoot that I do. Um, sometimes I have the C70 by itself just in the cage with a lens on the front um, and using the built-in screen. Sometimes I build it out fully like this depending on what I'm doing, depending on the job, depending on the shoot. Um, and I'm very much use what you need, not just use it just because you got it. Because when a camera gets really heavy and you keep piling stuff on that you don't really need, after a while it can really start to wear you down on like an all day shoot. So definitely build your cameras out case by case. I don't encourage you to build the same rig every time. Think about, do I need this this time? Do I not need this this time? Those are the kind of things that I think about. And for me, that's also the same thing when it comes to whether I pick the cine lenses or whether I go with something like a photo lens that has autofocus because the Canon autofocus continues to get better as we've gotten further firmware updates that have added eye tracking now, um, face tracking, all that good stuff. It's just getting better with each firmware update. So as this camera gets better, it makes me want to use the autofocus more. So there are times when I really just leave the cine lenses at home and I don't need them. If it's going to be like a really run and gun environment where you have you know, fast action and stuff. Yeah, sometimes I will just use autofocus because it's better um, and it just works better than I can without an AC actually pulling focus, you know. Um, if I was doing it off the barrel while also trying to get the shot, most likely I'm gonna screw up way more than autofocus will, so I'll take it. Because the C70 has become my main workhorse, I've probably spent the most money on this rig out of my other cameras because I use it the most. Um, but I'm really happy with it. And you do get what you pay for with stuff like this. It really is a really secure, tight, strong rig. And that's what you want when you got something this expensive and you're using it in some sketchy environments at times. You want something tough that if it does take a tumble, you know, maybe the, the cage will save it. Like the matte box will save the lens. You know, there's all these different things um, that go into it beyond just straight up functionality. And that's what a, a build is about. You want, you know, bigger cameras for more handheld stuff. Like I love a heavy camera when I'm shooting handheld because it gets rid of a lot of those micro jitters and you get more natural camera shake and more natural camera movement that a lot of times is actually desired as opposed to a perfectly static still shot like sometimes you want that shake you want to feel like you're in the action or whatever the action is so that's when I build it really heavy if I know I'm going to do a lot of you know handheld run and gun type stuff that's when something being heavy comes in handy because it does get rid of all those micro jitters and it just gets you a better result on the flip side there's also times where I'll rig the c70 up on the rs3 pro um, and use it on the gimbal and that's a whole different build it's very minimal I'm usually just going to pull um, the c70 in the cage and that's pretty much it I don't really add a lot of extra stuff to it I may add a monitor to the uh, the gimbal itself off to the side or I may add you know a microphone or um, sometimes I've used the the DJI focus wheel basically so I can pull focus with my with my hand on the gimbal I've done that before um, so there's so many ways to rig up this camera which is why I love it because if you buy you know obviously these are different tiers but if you buy like a Sony Venice or a, a Alexa mini or even stuff like a, a C300 mark II, a C500 these are bigger cameras or like a red you know epic or something like that these are big cameras that are hard to actually use in a small kit um, and stuff like the Komodo, which is small, but you still have to build it out a little bit. But this Canon C7, and you can really run it by itself and get very good results. And it's absolutely very usable because of things like the built-in ND filters, because of the mini XLR and the great audio interface that you have within this camera. Because of all that stuff, it allows it to be so versatile while also producing an amazing image. And it's just the best camera to me on the market for people that are doing sometimes more high-end productions where you need to rig it out, more like a cin cin cinema camera rig, you know, you need a full matte box like I have here or for people that also on occasion do more small run and gun projects where you need a lighter, smaller package. That's what I love it. Like when I went to Washington, the only thing I took with me was the cage. I didn't take a monitor. I didn't take anything because a, I had a lot of camera gear. I couldn't fit the monitor, but I was thinking, you know what? I'm just going to force myself to use this camera as is with the built-in monitor. And it actually turned out pretty good. I didn't have to build it out that big. And for those of you that have a C70, they're watching this video. Let me know in the comments what your rig is. Love, love to know what, what gear you chose to use to put out your rig. There may be something that I missed that's even better than what I have. So let me know if you found that. I'm really interested to know what you guys are using um, because I love this camera. I think a lot of people love this camera and there's a community around it now, which I love to see a lot of people using it, which means that you get, you know, good tips and tricks, good techniques, and you just get some amazing. I mean, I've seen unbelievable films created with this camera um, and these groups that I'm in and different things that I see just people posting. And I love seeing the work people are being able to pull out of such an affordable cinema camera when you compare it to everything else. So it's just really cool to see this camera flourish and see people creating amazing films with it. And this is going to be your free life lesson of the day when it comes to filmmaking. Build whatever you need to create 
good story. I, I preach this to myself all the time, not because I'm an amazing storyteller naturally by nature, not because I'm already the best at it. It's because I preach storytelling so much to you guys and on this channel and other people because I myself am always trying to improve story. It is so hard at times to tell a good story without getting caught up in the technical and in the gear and the lighting. Like, cool, the shot looks good, but would the story make sense? Is the story good? And we can get caught up in all these individual pieces and the pieces of this rig, which are all great. Nothing wrong with it. I love it. But at the same time, build whatever you need, buy whatever you need to help you tell stories. And the truth is, you can tell story with an iPhone. Now, would I recommend that if you want to be a professional filmmaker and work in this industry? No, you're going to have to buy a camera. You're going to have to buy a real camera. But you can practice the craft with an iPhone. People have done it and it is possible. So gear doesn't matter, but it does. But at the same time, if you know how to tell stories, when you actually do get the good gear that does matter, the result will be that much greater. And I think that's my point. So buy what you need to tell a good story and learn your tools, learn your cameras, learn how to expose for your cameras, learn how to color grade your footage. Speaking of that, video coming soon on my color grading process. Um, so be looking look out for that. But there's so many techniques that involve the gear and involve the technical stuff that enhance the stories. But you have to have the foundation of the story first. That's what I'm saying. Learn the foundation of the story and then then learn all the gear buy the gear and that'll just make it that much better. Um, and that's my two cents for today. So there you go. You're welcome. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I'm trying my best to be more consistent. It is so hard. I'm so busy um, and honestly just sometimes unmotivated, but I'm working on it. I promise I'm going to be more consistent. My goal is a video a week. So hold me to that comment. Keep me accountable. I'm going to do my best. Thank you for all that you've done for this channel. We've grown so fast. I just cannot believe it. I'm very, very thankful. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, hit that button. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Drop a comment below. Tell me about yourself. Tell me what rig you're using with your C70 or whatever camera you have. I'd love to hear from you. Um, but that's all I got for you today. That's it. See you.